We've really been working with Coach Reeves on uh, a lot of lower leg stuff, uh, a lot of explosive things like hamstrings, uh, thighs with squats and different things and he's really come in and implemented the strength but as well as the flexibility that's really going to help us on the field. Yeah, I think the, I mean, he's introduced new exercises like the, the one-legged squats on the boxes and Nordic leans and different things that really focus on, you know, being really explosive on the field for the those quick transition sprints and cuts and I think we'll be really sharp uh, going onto the field with that, that thing. I think the, the weight room and the strength and the conditioning is really helping us build a lot of endurance to, you know, like you said, not getting pushed off the ball, uh, winning air battles, things like that, 50-50s, it's just going to help us a lot with our center of gravity, so it plays in a huge part every day in, in training and stuff, and that's going to help us out a lot. Basically what we're doing with uh, men's soccer is we, we bring them in, they go twice a week for about 60 to 65 minutes, that's all we do. We spend about, what we do is bring them all together as a team, and we do calisthenics and stretch for about five to six minutes. And then we split up and I have half the team on the platforms lifting. They'll be doing things like hang cleans, power cleans, snatches, uh, squats, deadlifts, big compound type lifts. And then I take the other group and we do a lot of movements type stuff. Big thing with one-legged squats, uh, glute ham raises, uh, we tumble with them, we do uh, hurdle drills, a lot of different things. The, the key behind this philosophy is to, while they're getting stronger, make sure they're getting more athletic. And that's what we do. So the blend of about 25 to 30 minutes of the weightlifting with the athletic movement works very well. And then we always try to finish with something tough at the end. We're trying to look, you know, what's going to make a good athlete good is, well, number one, he's got to be a fighter. It's got to be someone that loves to compete, loves to get after, loves to fight through things. Has to have that and be more athletic. Strength is part of that. You want to be strong, you want to be powerful, but you got to be a fighter, you got to be athletic. Well, I think the uh, the end of the fall season, you know, was a little disappointing, but I think it made everyone really hungry uh, and everyone's coming into this spring season with a lot of focus, a lot of hard work, and uh, we've all adapted to Coach Bobby really well and he's helped implement us uh, with a lot of focus. So I think we're trying to build that uh, through the break and get ready for our first couple games.